morning, it's Friday, and today we're talking about how we knew what we were. I didn't know what I was for a really long time, because I didn't really know what being trans was, and I didn't um, pay a lot of attention to it. I didn't really know from an early age. I was like a normal kid. I've um, spent way too much time trying to like look back and find things that I could point out to make it seem like, yeah, I totally knew all the way back then, but I don't think that I did. I think I was just a normal kid who didn't really care about anything like that. I just wanted to like jump around and have fun, <laughs> like, like every kid. And um, I was maybe 13, early 14, when, you know, I got on YouTube and somehow I stumbled across the whole trans thing that was going on. And it just kind of clicked when I found it on YouTube and I realized, like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And um, I became obsessed with it. I spent way too much time on the internet looking at FTM videos and um, watching people like um, Skylar K and Emery Quincy, um, Ryan Casada, and Chase Ross, and the list goes on and on of people that uh, I spent all of my time looking up and looking at their videos. But I think it was a really helpful thing for me, not only because it like helped me figure out what was going on with myself, but like, I don't know, I found it really uplifting to um, see how far they had come and like, see where I could be, you know? Like, that could be me. I can be two years on testosterone someday. I'm not right now, but like, it made me feel better to know that I would be at some point. That could be me. And, uh, that's how I knew. And then, um, I think being on Tumblr helped. Just like, as far as a support system, because there's a really large community of trans people on Tumblr too. Like, if you look in the tags for, um, trans guys, or like, the tag for FTM, like, tons of stuff is gonna come up. You're gonna be able to find something that helps you or something that you were looking for that you probably wouldn't on other websites. I think Tumblr is good. I think YouTube is good. Both of those things just... They're good sources for trans people, in my opinion. Get on YouTube. Get on Tumblr. But, um... Yeah, that's how I knew. It took me a long time. And then even then, like, after I had figured it out and I was pretty sure about it, I waited a long time for my opinion to change or something in me to like snap back and be like, nah. But it never did really. It's been three years since then and it's only really gotten more so. So I started coming out to people at that point. I think the first time I actually came out in um, regard to my gender and feeling male was, I want to say like seven months ago, maybe six. I came out to my best friend and then she helped me come out to more people. And like, I'm still in the process of doing it so slowly because I'm trying to be like personal with each person about it that I'm really close to. So I'm like, whenever I have like a day where I just want to do it, I like, <laughs> I'll message someone and like write out this long thing that's all personalized about how I want to come out to them. <laughs> I think I'm out to like, I don't know, most of my main friends. I came out to my mom like three months ago. And um, extended family is a no-go for now, but that'll eventually happen too. And um, 
yeah. So that's how I knew YouTube was very helpful <laughs> for me <laughs> in figuring that whole thing out. And I think it's been helpful to a lot of other guys, too. I'm really glad that uh, the first guys on YouTube made those videos and, like, helped me with questions that I was having when, like, there really weren't a lot of people doing that three years ago. There were some, and those were the people that I watched. But, um, yeah. That's about it. My hair is dirty. I need a shower. Okay, um, <laughs> I'll see you next Friday.